Uh, so Reese defeat in the uh, Welsh Cup final. What did you make of the performance today? I thought it was magnificent. You know, the reason that you, you could look at the individual goals, I didn't think they were great goals to concede. I thought the first one was a foul, felt like a foul from where I was. Uh, the second and third goals were a bit soft from our perspective and we could improve them. But the reason why we didn't win the first half was because I, the way we set up it, for me, probably wasn't as good as it could have been. It didn't really work, the plan. Uh, second half, we improved it. We had a right goal and we won the second half. And obviously, I think another five, six minutes, we probably would have equalised. So, um, yeah, proud. the boys couldn't have given any more. Um, they've given so much. They're gutted in there, but they've got a lot to be proud of. And um, Yeah, I thought the boys were magnificent. If anything, the tactics weren't quite spot on today. And uh, you mentioned it there, you know, with two late goals. Do you feel like maybe if Sean's goal would have come ten minutes earlier, it would have been a different story? Look, the second goal is the key goal. Well, look, look yeah, oh, it would. But I think when we go to 3-2, it's a different thing. They're panicking then. At 3-1, they're still you know, a little bit comfortable. Um, obviously, our tails are up a little bit. And the crowd certainly got behind us. They were brilliant. But um, the, the third goal allowed us, or sorry, the second goal allowed us to go to a shape of, what was it, one four five or something. And, and they had no choice but to leave bodies back. And then with Big Sam up front, you're looking for Diags. You know, we nearly had the chance right at the end. I had an impossible position to see whether it was a pen. I think he probably took the ball, but um, yeah, yeah. And uh, the uh, Bont fans came in numbers today. Uh, how grateful are you for the support that they continue to give you? Oh, so it's amazing, you know, and it's, I'm not, they're not just throwaway comments, they're not just cliches, they're not just making it up. They are, they mean so much to us, uh, especially the ones that we see all the time. And we just want, if I don't know how many were there for us today, it looked, I don't know, I couldn't even hazard a guess, but if we can keep a third of them, we'll be in these kind of games all the time, um, because that's the resources we need. But um, yeah, just I hope they had a great day and I hope that um, we did them proud and, and we gave them something to cheer about. Just sorry we couldn't win it. And finally, going into next season, what preparations are going to be you know, taking place to take that further step next season? Someone who, who's had a lot of success in this league said to me not so long ago, don't try and smash the door down, but you just got to keep knocking at it, eventually it'll open. That's what we'll do. We haven't got the resources to go and sign every good player in the South, but we'll, we'll probably make a couple of additions. We maybe, um, you know, change a couple of uh, squad members here and there. That were, you know, people might want to move on or whatever. I don't know, we'll be having chats, but um, there's always one or two new faces will come in. Um, and we just look to strengthen that way and just build resilience over time. Yeah, Chris. Yeah,